hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is charles please in today's video we'll be making beautiful bubble skirts so guys if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe click on the bell icon to be notified anytime i upload a new video for the fabric i'm using a duchess fabric and i'm using a lining i intentionally use another color for the lining to illustrate it very well so that you understand it clearly for the measurement for this skirt i need only the length and the waist measurement now the length of the skirt i'm working with is 20 inches 20 inches and the waist measurement is 23 inches you can see that 23 inches now for the lining the lining is going to be quarter of the skirt now the length of the skirt is 20 inches now the lining I have to clarify this. The skirt is circled skirt and it's full circle skirt. Why the lining is quarter of the skirt. So why cutting the lining? The measurement I need is 23 inches divided by 1.57 is a standard measurement for it for quarter of a circle. You know, we have full circle, half circle, quarter circle. So to get the circumference, you have to divide your waist measurement. This 23 is the waist measurement I'm working with. Waist measurement divided by 1.57. That is for the lining because the skirt itself, that is the fabric itself is bigger than the lining. That's what forms the bubble at the down part. So, but for the main fabric, you have to divide waist measurement by 2.6.28. The lining, I will divide my waist measurement by 1.57. So the radius I will get there will be 14.64. Approximately is 14.6. Now for the main fabric is 23. That is the waist measurement divided by 6.28. It will give me 3.66 that is approximately 3.7 inches that's this will be the radius for the main full circle why this will be the radius for the lining so let's get started another thing you should note is that the lining should be shorter than the length of the fabric what do i mean the lining need to be shorter so that it will not show at the damp part. Waist measurement, which is 23 inches by 1.57. And it gave us 14.64. Approximately, I will make it 15 inches. I will make it all together 15 inches. This is the radius for the lining. So I'll mark 15 inches round. I should be begging you to shut up, Abby. Now from this radius, I have to measure the length. For the main fabric, the length is 20 inches. I'll go ahead and remove 3 inches from it to make it to form the bubble very well. That is 20 inches minus 3 will give me 17 inches. So from here, I will mark 17 inches round. So I've marked out the 17 inches round, so I'll go ahead and cut it out. Remember, my fabric was not folded. It's not folded at all. I just keep it plain from the tip. Now this is for the lining. Then for the men's fabric, I will cut it out. Remember to always add your allowance as well. Now for the men's fabric, I folded it into four equal parts. I'm using the length of 24 inches. Remember, the length we are working with is 20 inches. Then I added that four inches for the radius. So that by the time I remove the radius, the remaining will be the length of the skirt we are working with. So I'll go ahead. 
okay i'll go ahead and mark my radius which is four inches so after marking the four inches for the radius then from this four inches i'll take the 20 inches length you can see the length is already 20 inches now i've marked the length which is 20 inches so i'll go ahead and connect the lines so you can see this is 20 inches length now we'll go ahead and cut it out Now after cutting it out, I'll go ahead and cut out the ridges. Then I'll go ahead and open it up for you to see. You can see we are having a full. I will not open it up. I'll just sew through it. Or if you are attaching a zipper, you can go ahead and open it up. Because I'm not using a zipper for it. So I will not open it up. Now we have gotten the fabric and the lining itself. So guys, you can see we have cut out the fabric and the lining. You can see the length is 3 inches shorter from the main fabric. So the next stage will be the sewing aspect. Now for the sewing, we'll start with the lining first. What you need to do is just close up this edge because we're not using a zipper. So you have to close it up. Remember, this one is not open. If you close it up, you keep it aside. And the next thing to do is to measure out the length of the down part of the lining. Now, we'll go ahead and measure the length because the length, that is what we use and plant the main fabric. So I'll go ahead and measure out the length. Now for the length, I'm having... 52 inches you can see that this is for the lining the length is 52 inches now let's check the main fabric okay the lining is 52 inches now for the main circle side let's check how many inches you can see we are having 38.5 inches remember it's folded into four that is 38.5 times four 38.5 inches times 4 will give us 154 inches. That is 154 inches. That is the length of the down part. So we are going to plant it, just make a gather to rhyme with the measurements we have there in our lining. So that's the first stage. Just plant it. After closing up the lining, I will show you the next thing we'll be doing. So guys, you can see I've sewn it. I joined the lining to the main fabric. You can see how it looks the lining is shorter in length while the fabric is longer in length by the time i join it together this is what we are having you can see how beautiful it looks it has already formed the bubble the beauty is that length that we shorten from the lining three inches we use three inches we reduce the lining by three inches So after joining it, remember it's not having a zipper. So the next thing to do is to, now I want you to have a band. You can use band for it to close it up or you can as well just use your bias tape or you can tape it with the same fabric. Just tape it around and close it. If it's the one that is having elastic, you can go ahead and insert your elastic. The main thing is just to close it up neatly the way you want. If you want band, you go ahead and add your band to it. If you don't want band, you can go ahead and tape it around to close it up. So I'll be cutting small pieces of fabric. I'll use two inches. Now I'll use it to tape it from the front side. That is from the right side, the right side of the rope shoe. 
match the right side of the cut. You can see, I will sew it round, round, then after which I will then fold it into this side and then top stitch. If you want to use your band, you can as well use it like so and make a band depending on how you want. If you want to use it as a band, small band, tiny band, you can sew it from the back, then close it up at the front side like so. So whichever way you choose, I'll go ahead and close it up. Then I'll show you the final look of the skirt. So guys, after sewing, this is how it looks. You can see the lining. This is how it looks. Just go ahead and iron it. That's all. So guys, I hope this video is helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell icon to be notified. Anytime I upload a new video, give it a thumbs up, share to your friends. Bye until I see my next one. Keep watching for more style.